everybody, I'm Sandy Walters and welcome to Sandy Spotlight. Today I'm featuring author Dal Burns and his novella Alien Race. It's a sci-fi novella and I have to say thank you Dal <laughs> because I'm just getting into the whole sci-fi genre and I really really enjoyed this book. As a matter of fact, I enjoyed it so much that I decided to take the next step and I actually watched the movie Avatar because I read your book and loved it and I happen to love the movie too so anyways I just wanted to thank you for that and again I'm I'm becoming a real big fan of sci-fi so uh, for any of you out there that have not read this book please pick it up it was a fun exciting read it pits two men against each other both wanting very different things, but both willing to do whatever they have to do to get them, including destroying the other person. So it was quite an exciting read. Fast read. Um, it is a novella, so um, you can join us over at the book discussion. If you haven't read the book yet, you can pick it up. You've got plenty of time to, to uh, read it and then come over and join us. Leave a comment for Dal. I've left my review for his novella on my blog, and um, tweet your peeps, Facebook your friends. Enjoy this interview with Dal. He is a very talented man, very funny, and I really enjoyed the interview. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Dal now. Thank you very much. Bye bye. This is a video interview with Dal Burns, who is a writer, storyteller, actor, post geek technotype, and host of other titles I don't have time to go into. Hello, Dal. Hello. So, why did you become a writer? Well, that's often a difficult question to answer, all things considered. Stop being stuffy. You're not that kind of writer. Just answer the question. Why did you become a writer? I'm not really sure that I am a writer. Or an author. I think I'm a storyteller. I learned so many stories, especially in the bush of Australia. At night, we told stories by the campfire. And I learned so many stories that for me, writing is an extension of just telling those stories all over again. Tell me about your ebook, Alien Race. That book started with a bet. I was in a bar with a friend of mine and we were having a drink and she bet me $100 that I could not write a story in two weeks if she were to give me the very last line. So I went home and I wrote like Crazy. The story began basically with the conflict between two men, and the two of them, at the very low level of the story, are fighting. They don't agree with one another. On a second level, I was looking at the conflict we have as a society with technology and with culture. For the rest, go to Amazon Kindle or to Barnes & Noble Nook, and it's 99 cents. What else have you written? I had a one-man play, which was called Outback, which I produced in San Francisco with the help of John Provost from The Lassie Show, and we eventually turned that into an audio book, which is now on iTunes, and it's on Amazon MP3, and it's also on Amazon.com. I was asked by a local cultural arts group to put on a radio play with my actors, and of course, as soon as I put the phone down, I forgot entirely that I was supposed to get my actors together. So when the company called back two weeks before the show and said, how's your radio play going? Your 35 minutes for our cultural event, I said, it's going great, wonderful. And I put the phone down and I said, oh my God, what am I going to do? So I sat up late one night and I put a 35 minute piece together in about six hours with a couple of songs thrown into it gave a tape to one of the instructors and said, if you ever want to play the piano in this building again, and we put it on the stage, and it was so well received that we turned it into a full-length one-man play and ran it for five years, until it became an audiobook. People wanted something for the younger audience, for children. And so I wrote The Kookaburra and Other Stories and turned it into an audio CD, which I narrate. That became the full-length book of 23 stories of the Kookaburra. They are inspired by my time in the Australian bush. Now, some of these things will turn up on YouTube with me narrating them, and they will 
show up on my website, dramaworksinc.com, which is where you can look at some of these things. The Adventures of Fu, where a friend of a friend came to me and showed me a series of paintings that she had done. And this is one of the paintings. And she said, this is my petit fou, my little fool. I wonder if you could write his story for him. How on earth would I do that? Still, here's a story. Here's a challenge. So I took the paintings and I went home with them. And over a period of about six months, I built the stories behind Fu. I was writing one evening when I heard a voice over my left shoulder. And that voice said, <coughs> excuse me, that's not exactly how it happened. And the voice over my right shoulder said, would you mind terribly if we told you how it happened? And from there, the two characters wrote the story themselves. Ah, and also there was a story about my horse, which will be on my blog, dalburnswrites.com. I'm going to put short stories up there, stories that I've written, stories that I'm going to write, just for the love of them. And one of those stories that is showing right now is called Soy Peruana Bella. The story of a Peruvian Paso mare. That will be on my uh, my blog site. Is there anything in the works right now? The neighbor's cat. Uh, I have a friend, name of Carrie, who wanted me to write a story about a very special cat who she owned. And I sat and thought about that for a long time. How do you write a story about a cat that hasn't been overused? And one day I was just kicking this around in my mind when I remembered a Victorian parlor game based around a cat. And from that moment it was on. The illustrations are being put together now and I'm hoping to have that book out late fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas time this year. I have a couple of other books that I'm working on. Another, another illustrated book of, for kids. And then a story about an alternate universe. Do you have anything on the internet for people to see and read? My blog is dalburnswrites.com that's where my short stories will be residing. And I have a Twitter account, of course, at Dal Burns, where I post humorous slang and little stories and so on and so forth. If someone wants to see examples of my work, they can go to the publishing website, dramaworksinc.com, where audio clips and, and short examples of my writing are available.